Okay, welcome back to tonight's interview on the Midweek Movie Show. I'm talking to Aaron Shrimpton about his brand new film, Arcadia Lasts. And uh, we, were, we were talking uh, just before we, we were listening to the, the break for the music there, um, just about the, the, the people involved in the film. Uh, and, and of course, you know, it does take a, a, a lot of people to, to bring a film together. Um, but this is not the first time that you've been behind the camera, is it? This is something you've been doing in lots of different ways for, for quite a while. What, what's your background in terms of filmmaking? Um, well, I studied uh, film and photography at Napier University mm. uh, in Edinburgh. And I, when during that time, I made a music video for a friend of mine uh, who was becoming quite successful. So I fully jumped on his coattails <laughs> uh, and made a track with a video for Scroobius Pip featuring mm. track uh, of a guy called Yilla. And I, that won a, a new talent BAFTA when I was at uni. And from there, I kind of made lots of music videos. And then I made some more music videos for Pip uh, for his Distraction Pieces album. And yeah, so I kind of music videos was sort of my entry point into short filmmaking, I guess. Um, mm. I ha- this is actually the first time I've written a script. Yeah. And but and, you know, try to organize and produce something of this size. Um, if I'd have known when I started that, you know, don't ha- don't have too many locations, <laughs> <laughs> don't have too many characters, <laughs> keep it in one room. <laughs> yeah. If you want to learn your, your craft the slow <laughs> way um, the, the, the more accessibly way. And yeah, the crew, so in terms of crew and recruitment, uh, I guess having the people working for me over the time and I've done lots of commercial based stuff and you fight, you kind of meet people along the way. And this mm. was very much like, I didn't have a lot of budget, but I decided to pay everyone. Um, in fact, I kind of really had no budget really. I was just kind of winging it, what yeah. available c- credit cards I had available <laughs> uh, and hoping I could pay it back. <laughs> and it was a bit kamikaze. I managed to get summer funding. I've produced, produced some prints. Uh, to try and help raise that. I had some successful artist friends that helped me out and little bits of funding that kind of pulled that together, which allowed me to, to pay the people. I'd kind of employed before for a lot more, um, but I was felt it was important that everyone was paid and everyone was paid the same. So there was no sense of division of hierarchy. Everyone mm. was kind of there for the same reason. But everyone was also earning something out of it, you know, which I think is important. Uh, and the crew, uh, I was lucky to have uh, Isabel Jones come along and DOP. Uh, as I said, Barry Casnolia was uh, come and produce it with me. And a guy called Ash Garwood, who bought all of his equipment along, was the best camera system that possibly money could have bought, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, there was lots of people involved. I won't name everyone, but uh, kind of a collection of people wanting to get involved and people that did me a massive favour, like Hannah Ford, who was an events producer, who kind of put loads of energy into this, but next to nothing. So, yeah, I was incredibly grateful. I'd like to mention all their names. We don't have enough time. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we could just read the credits. Uh, just uh, one of the things about uh, the, the experience you've had recently is that you've, you've managed to get a test screening together to show the film. Uh, in, in Basildon, it was, uh, I believe it was at uh, the, the new cinema there. Uh, how was that experience? What was the buzz like on, when, you, when you first showed it to an audience? Um, slightly terrifying to start with because we were having trouble figuring out how to get the sound working. <laughs> uh, and we tested it two times prior to the week and it's complicated and boring, but ultimately we had to use the PC they, that they used at the Starbucks <laughs> because it was the only thing we played the sound through. So 40 minutes before we were screening, I thought I was going to have to cancel no. and I felt physically sick. Uh, and luckily the PC was there again because that was our fail safe when we tested it. Um, but like testing it in a big screen, I actually uh, uh, curated three other shorts beforehand. So mm. I wanted to create more of an experience for people coming down and I had the hour. Uh, but I would recommend it to anyone making short films is mm. to test it in a big screen because you really don't know how things look and sound until you've done that. And if yeah. you want it to go to festivals and that's where, you know, you should be aiming towards rather than just put it on YouTube and seeing mm. if you letting your friends see it. It's the ultimate test of what that will be like for other people when they go to and watch them at festivals, you know. So it was amazing to want to see the feedback's been much better than I could have possibly imagined. Uh, and we were able to, you know, figure out things to improve on as well for when we sent it to festivals. I was going to say, and that's the future for it now is it's, uh, it's going to be packaged, you know, hopefully into, into various different festivals and, you know, fingers crossed, you know, that uh, that that BAFTA that, uh, that you received a while back might not be the only uh, uh, thing being flying your way in the future. We'll keep the fingers crossed for you. Yeah, you know, don't, we, you definitely don't set out, don't do things because you want to win awards, do things because it feels good and it, you, you learn from the process. But if it gets into festivals, you're ultimately going to get seen by more people. Yeah. And if it's seen by people, then the experience has travelled. And that's, you know, the, the transcendent element of making art, I guess. 
it is uh and it's uh it is a fantastic film and uh we, we look forward to uh we, we've we've been able to see the the, uh, the early cut of it but uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing the the, the full version uh, hopefully uh we'll we'll uh, get it get it up here in the northwest as soon as we can uh it's been lovely to talk to yeah um we always asked our guests to, to talk a little bit about their their influences in terms of soundtracks and uh, and i was over the moon when you said the words tom york to me uh and uh and you've chosen a particular piece uh what's uh what what drew you to uh Suspiria? Well, I listen to, uh, I don't really listen to much else other than Radiohead, for really honest. <laughs> listen to music per se. I mean, I try to listen to a bit of music, but Radiohead is my kind of go-to. And I, when I was making the first edit of the film, I actually used the Radiohead head track to kind of help fill it out, mm. what they call placement track, which isn't a good idea because you get quite married to that. <laughs> um, and trying to replace that and get something that's good or relative is quite difficult. Um, and it was the opening part. By, there was a film made uh, called Sus uh, Remake of Suspiria and Tom York did the soundtrack to that and it's just an amazing soundtrack. It is quite dark as well and it's, uh, I mean, all the Radiohead seems to be quite good at, uh, Johnny Greenwood's obviously an excellent composer now mm. um, in his own right and it's just a beautiful piece of music uh, for a really dark film. <laughs> but yeah, so... I, I it's all right, to, we're coming up to 10 o'clock at night here on the on the midweek movie show dark is dark is our, our way of doing things dave metcalf who's on after us he won't mind on the late show dark is dark is perfectly fine <laughs> well it's it's set up it's setting up brilliantly for dave then but it's a superior tom york would be the yeah the last track to listen to for sure excellent aaron shrimpton it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you and uh, we look forward to seeing uh, more from you in the future thanks very much for having me thank you very much